Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and happy April Fools to almost everybody, depending on your time zone. Hi, my name is Xenoxis. The my name is Xenoxis. I can't pronounce my own name today, apparently. And we're playing some Danmachi Memoria Freeze. So, in this video, I wanted to go over the premium currencies in the game: Iris, Sirius, and Dolp. Now. Iris is your common premium currency. It is what you buy. It is what you summon with. You need Iris for summoning. You need Iris for refilling stamina if you're out of the potato snacks. You need Iris for just those two, actually. Uh, refilling your tickets for War Game and Record Buster. That's about it. Yeah, I think that's all that you need Iris for. Iris is your main currency, the one that you're most concerned about when you are playing the game. It is what you should conserve, and it is what you should spend wisely, because there is only a limited amount of free-to-play Iris in the game. Now, how do you acquire it? Well, there's a couple ways. In a previous guide, I mentioned going to the character list, and going through and leveling up all these characters using the presents that you are you obtain through the game. Leveling them up gives you CP rewards. CP rewards can be Iris, and like stat increases, and all kinds of stuff. Now, increasing people's CP also allows you to get Iris from this tab, the Interact tab. So if we take a look at the Interact tab, every time you level up their CP, or almost every time, they have their own little quests here, which is about four Iris per quest. On top of that, you also get stories through the CP rewards. And as you summon and get outfits, you also get outfit stories, which give you Iris rewards. So, that's two ways. CP rewards, interact rewards. Moving down the list, we see the guild. Through the adventure level rewards, you can also obtain Iris and these challenge things which give you bonds, doesn't matter. Dispatch quests also can give you Iris. Right now it is not live, not until the 3rd of April, but usually if you get a great, a great success on it, you might get one Iris. One Iris is more than you had before. And the missions. Daily, you get 10 Iris. Plus, as you level up CP, you also get Irish rewards from missions for all three characters. Every time you limit break a character, you get Iris. Every time you level up a character to level 60, you get Iris. Every time you 6-star or 5-star a character, you get Iris. Every time you rank up, you get Iris. There is a lot of free-to-play Iris in the game. A lot of it. Just look at all that. Every time you S clear the entirety of a set of stages, uh, all of Bell's story, all of Aya's story, all of Ryu's story, you get Iris. And usually, a ticket. See? See the S clear all there is to the pub fertility? Of fertility? Time limit missions. These come and go, but there is a lot of Iris to be had there. Let's see here. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Arena. Record Buster. Every time you play Record Buster, the higher your uh, global rank, the higher your Irish rewards. War Game. Same could be said here. Higher your rank, higher your Irish rewards. Monsterphilia. Each of these gives Iris as well as Hero Fauna. All the story at least four iris per stage and there are a lot of stages in some of these episodes doing each of these one time gives you iris doing each of these one time gives you iris in fact i have iris to get from this new story Event, uh, da, 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 da. and the final ways to get iris are if you click that button there on the side, you can do Sears Daily Lunchbox, which gives you 100 paid iris, 10 free iris, and 100 stamina per day. Now, what else? How, how else do you get iris? Well, 
you hit the shop tab and hit purchase iris there's a deal going on right now honestly i don't think this is a fantastic deal 16 for 80 is really good but this game really doesn't like giving sales at all eighty dollars for three multis is a lot of money for multis and there are no refunds it's it's kind of ridiculous so that that's your your talk about iris iris your premium currency save it spend it wisely my suggestion for spending it wisely is to either spend a little bit on time limited banners don't chase units try to get all of them if you can but don't chase it, it is it is not always the wisest decision but time limited units aren't guaranteed to ever come back so you want to at least get one of each if you can and save dear god save i do a multi on every banner simply because all new banners I think all new banners. I, I can't remember one on top of my head that doesn't have first multi is a guarantee. I do one multi on every banner, at least, simply because of that guarantee. Now, that is because my income for Iris is at least three or four multis, if not six or seven a month, depending on how many Iris they give you before a new banner drops. That's because of war game and uh, and record buster and new events, etc., etc., etc. So Saros and Dope. Moving on, Saros and Dope. What is Saros and Dope? Well, if we head down to the store, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Store, store, shop. Saros and Dope. This black currency here, this black crystal, I believe is Saros. You get, uh, I believe, 20? No, 10. 10 for every 4-star unit that you get rid of. Now, that's that's a heavy blow. But if you already have a unit at plus 5, you no longer need copies of that unit. So any further copies can be removed from your bond list and give you serious. Dope. Dolb can be used to buy all of this. All of these white crystals. Fauna, Smelting Stones, Three Star Guarantees, which I'm going to buy. Right, just like that. Boom. Two Star Guarantee. Boom. And then all of these items for CP rewards. I'm actually going to grab as many as I can of this. I'm going to have to grab more here in a second. So how do you get more Serios and Dope? Well, you click the little gear, go to your inventory, go to Bonds, and this list here, you can sell all of your Bonds for Dope. As I'm doing now. Bum, bum, ba -da. Now, normally, here's how I handle my Serios and Dope. Once a month, that shop refills. At the beginning of the month, I clean out my Bond list. Anything that I have not used, besides four-star units, I get away. I just get rid of. Because by the end of ne the next month, or by the time I need these bonds, I will have summoned more and acquired more. Now, there is a slight stipulation here. For me, if I know I am close to five, plus fiving a three-star unit, I will keep some of those bonds just in case because I am currently out of four star units to level up, put fauna into, and for the daily missions, you need to put fauna and Excelia into units. So having a couple of extra three star bonds just in case doesn't hurt. Now, there's a couple of units here which I don't think ever deserve to be plus fived. Uh, the Ox Sword Bell and that Beginning Eyes, eh. That uh, uh, Lily Rook is okay. That Finn's bad. This uh, Riveria I already have plus five. 
I believe I have these plus five already. And this is what I do every month, because every month I buy 10 more gold tickets, 10 more silver tickets, and usually, ever since they implemented them in the shop, the Aurora Year Souvenirs, it's how you get CP rewards quickly for time-limited characters like the Attack on Titan characters, or most recently, the Data Live characters. And that's Serious and Dope. I am going to be doing a video doing summons for the tickets that I, I received. And this time I will not be making the mistake of summoning on the banner. Uh, I, I don't I don't need more disappointment in my life in that way. But uh, all you gotta do is, is go into your bag, check things out, get things done, and you'll have plenty if you play like a normal person would play a game that they enjoy. I'm not gonna say anything if you are not gonna play a lot, but Usually, if you're playing enough to have the iris, and you're summoning, then you, by the end of the month, will have enough Serios and Dolb to do 10 more Gold Star tickets and 10 Silver tickets. It cost me a total of, like, 600 Dolb. And if you're wondering what I'm saving that Serios for, it is for... Uh, a special occasion. If there is a plus four unit, I really want to get the plus five, and I don't want to wait for it. That's what I'll I'll grab a bond for it, and that's what I'll do. I honestly think it's probably worth a little bit more to uh, save up for the bonds for. Um, oh yeah, I gotta put those in. Hmm. Uh, bonds for assist units because those are a little bit more difficult to come across but you know do as you will and that's serious and dope all right guys thank you all for watching check you later peace